Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be reviewing the Physique Infinito Knit Carbon 2 Cycling Shoes. If you're looking for lightweight and breathable cycling shoes, it's hard to beat a knit cycling shoe. In this review, we're going to be looking at the latest version of the Physique Vento Infinito Knit Carbon 2 shoes, which combine a knitted upper with high performance features of the Infinito cycling shoes. In terms of packaging, you see very simple. You have a black cardboard box, Physique printed on the top, basic specs printed along the side, along with the specific version that we have here printed on a little sticker. We'll go ahead and take this out of the box and go over the specs. So retail price on this is $379.99. This has their knit upper construction, which combines a mesh material with heat infused TPU yarn for additional stability. This has a dual BOA LI2 dial system, so it gives you the best adjustment you can get on the market with a volume control system that lets you adjust the toe box and the ankle separately. You have their R2 carbon outsole, which is one of the stiffest carbon soles that Physique currently offers. And it's also available in a wide variation. So if you have wider feet, you can purchase that version. In terms of what comes with these, obviously you just get these shoes with some basic packaging material. There's no carrying bag or any additional perks. You just get a basic user manual and warranty information pamphlet on the inside. Now let's take a look at the weight of the shoes. These are a Euro 40. So the left shoe comes in at 238, while the right shoe that comes in at slightly higher at 240. Physique's Vento Infinito shoes are Physique's top aligned cycling shoes that combine ultralight construction with stiff carbon fiber outsoles. This is the latest generation of the Infinito shoes and features an engineered knitted upper that takes these shoes to the next level. Physique currently offers these shoes in only two color options, black and then the coral version that we have here. In our opinion, the coral color is a no-brainer. It gives you a really unique combination of an orange and red color scheme with this digitized crosshatch pattern. So it really makes the shoe stand out without being too flashy. You have very minimal branding, physique printed on the side and along the heel. The upper material here is a combination of breathable knitted base with targeted areas of heat infused TPU yarn. And what this does, it gives it a little bit more structure where you need it, like where the laces are attached and the dials are attached, while keeping the rest very flexible and soft. You can see the whole thing almost collapses under a little bit of pressure, but you do have additional structure along the toe to prevent you from getting your toes getting snubbed. The back is very stiff as well to keep your heel in place. And if I illuminate the interior of here, you can really see it very well ventilated. So with the light, you can see it's almost transparent, paper thin. It's a really nice breathability and it's very soft. And then you have all the vents along the front tongue and that additional stiffness and rigidity with the TPU material along the lace pattern and the edges. So a really nice design and really gives you the best so it gives you that lightweight construction you want with knit while still giving you support so when you're cycling you're not moving around. The closure system on here has dual BOA LI2 dials. These are the latest and greatest from BOA. They're lower profile than the previous version. You have micro tightening and micro loosening. So you can really adjust the fit while you're riding. And then if you pull up, you'll get the full loosening to release all the tension. Physique describes this as a volume control system. So the top has a separate strap and you can see it's actually only connected down at the base and that really helps it pull the ankle part in independent of the front while the front controls the toe box so as I time this this will pull the material together and you have the nice wraparound design so you can see the upper is simply been sliced down the center and when you tighten it it really pulls together to give you a really custom fit the sole on here has their new R2 carbon outsole, so it's one of their stiffest they offer. You have a very subtle carbon fiber weave exposed here. It is a 10 out of 10 in terms of their stiffness index. And you can see you have a unique raised profile, so you can see how it extends down from the center to the back into a heel bumper, and then you have a toe bumper on the front. 
The heel bumper does appear to be replaceable with a bolt down the center in the middle. And then you have standard three bolt compatibility here. So it'll work with the Shimano SPD SL or Lukio cleats. You have a nice front vent here as well along the ridge and then a little outlet along the inside. And they're very well hidden because of that raised design. In terms of the insole too, pull that out. So pretty standard foam design. So you can see it has venting along the front and the rear. And then you also have this little padding here and that helps you cover up the cleat attachment point and prevent any pressure points. So if you do want to run custom insoles, you may want to add a little foam piece that's similar to this. Now let's take a look at the knit shoes on the road. As you can see, the red and orange color really pop. The combination of the knit texture on the upper and that cross hatching give it a very distinct look that I haven't seen in other shoe brands. You have the dual BOA dials, which let you adjust each zone separately. And you can see while the top is very flexible, you still have reinforcements on the heel and then the toe. We actually have the speed play pedals attached to this using a three bolt to four bolt adapter, which adds a little bit of stack height, but lets you use the different style cleats very easily. You have a nice stiff carbon sole here, and especially with the cleats, they're well protected, so unless you're walking a lot of gravel, they should still look new. The dual dials are very easy to adjust, and you can see the upper is very flexible, so whether you have wide feet, narrow feet, bunions, any other issues, it should easily flex around that without any pressure points. As far as the performance of the shoes, we found them to be great, nice and stiff, so they give you a direct feel, so you really feel your power transfer directly through the bike without being uncomfortable as you can get with a lot of other carbon shoes. The knit upper is nice and flexible and breathable. So that combined with the carbon shoes really makes them comfortable. And we found the fit to be very similar to Shimano shoes with a wide toe box. So these are a great option if you have wide feet, even if you don't get the wide variation. And as you can see, the color here really pops. So great for additional visibility on the road. And they definitely make a statement regardless of which color you pick. Now let's compare the Physique shoes with other shoes on the market. Here we have a couple other Physique models. Here's the Omna, which is a more affordable variation. You see single boa dial, a little bit different of a design. You can see these are sleeker while this is, has a glossy top. Single dial, which means you don't have as much adjustability. And a nylon base, so it makes it a lot more affordable. So if you're looking for a good indoor cycling shoe or something more budget friendly, that is a good option to consider. We also have the Stabilito Carbon which is a little bit more expensive than these knit shoes. And it has this very cool knit, this Arch Support 2.0 variation, which has a strap that goes around your arch and you can see the base is actually cut out where there would normally be carbon, it's actually fully cut out and the upper is molded around. So this will really hug your arch. So if you need more arch support, it's a great alternative to the Infinito Carbon. With this color scheme, these shoes really remind me of the DMT KR Zeros as well. You can see the coral color here matches well with this bright orange. The DMT is much more like a sock. You can see how flexible the knit upper is versus the knit on the physique. The strap and the other features give it a little more bulk while this is much more flexible with just fabric hoops and this little plastic holder rather than a full strap. Both of these shoes are really comfortable though. And they offer a full carbon base while the DMT has a lot more ventilation with all these cutouts. And you have both, both of them have the LA2 dials. The Shimano S Fire is another cool shoe. It's not quite as flexible, but you can see fully perforated, this beautiful iridescent finish that you just don't find in other models. And you can see it also has replaceable arch supports on the insole with these little fabric attachments, which is really cool. The s -Fire also has a more integrated appearance with the upper wrapping around. So you don't have this fully exposed carbon outsole. Instead, it's kind of hidden underneath, which is a cool feature. The Bon Vapor S is also a really nice shoe. You can see it's a much wider anatomical design. This is a 44 wide versus this Euro 40, but you can see the shape. It's really quite a bit wider and it's also heat moldable, which is cool. And you get dual bow dials, and, but at a similar price point. And you can also get these optional Kroper R insoles that we previously reviewed with arch support in them. But a little bit different appearance and not as uh, pretty as the physique, especially in this coral finish. 
Now let's go over the pros and cons of the Physique Vento Infinito Knit Carbon Shoes. What I like about them is you have an eye-catching design. The colors and the graphic scheme really looks great, so regardless of which one you pick, they look nice and premium. You also have direct power transfer through the stiff soles, so they're great for doing long rides or sprints. Also with the dual boa dials, you have great adjustable fit, so you can easily accommodate a wide range of feet and adjust each zone separately. There are no really cons with this, obviously I wish it was cheaper, but for a full knit shoe with boa dials and carbon sole, it's a great option and they look great on the road. Taking everything into account would give the Infinito Knit Carbon Shoes a 9.5 out of 10 because they're nice breathable lightweight carbon shoes that can, can accommodate a wide range of feet. Thanks for watching this review. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can see more content from us on our website at thesweetcyclist.com as well as follow us on Instagram at thesweetcyclist. This is The Sweet Cyclist reminding you to enjoy the ride.